we are back in Escape the Iowoki. And today's going to be a different story. We're going to get the hell out of this house and put this in the collection of asses whipped! What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name and Escape to Iowoki is the game. And today, yes, we're beating the game. I don't care how long it takes. We beat it in the live stream. <laughs> we can beat it again. All due to one little trick. One little trick that saved our life. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see how many attempts it takes. Shouldn't take too many. Where am I? What is this place? I need to find a way out. A flashlight. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, let's go. There's gonna be no cuts in this because I'm not gonna die. First, we gotta find those stupid clock hands, okay? First step, find those clock hands. This is kind of like a tutorial as well. You always wanna listen for those damn violins, okay? Now these clock hands could be anywhere in this little floor region right here. We've got one of them. The other one must be in one of these rooms. Let's go find it. Still got to keep an ear out for those stupid little violins, okay? Usually it's laying on the floor there. It's not there, and it doesn't appear to be over there by the TV. Oh, shit. Flashlight gone. Ooh. Mamacita. <laughs> You're going down, boy. <laughs> You're going down. Let's double check over here, okay? Double check over here. Okay, okay. nothing. Must be in the back room. Normally, he doesn't come up here during the beginning of the game. Of course, unless you're running and jumping and acting a fool. Then, yeah, he's going to come sprinting up here. But other than that, no. Check the floors. Turn off this stupid radio. Playing this goddamn garbage. Okay. So, there it is right there. It's the only other place it could have been is the back of the hallway. Now we need to make our way to the clock. Taking our time. Walking. Listening for the violins. I played this game so much last week that when I went to sleep, I could hear those fucking violins in my ear. And I didn't know what to do, whether to jump under my bed or flail like a fucking fairy dancer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the uh, hands on the clock. We want to put it to 3.30. God damn it. It's all the way around. There. Okay, here we go. Turn off our flashlight, we want to hide. Wait for this asshole to come and then leave. Ah, oh, good night. Okay. He came and he went. You want to wait a second? Just wait a second. Okay? Yep, he's back. Nope, he's gone. Okay, now, it's time to make our way to the back hallway. Still listening for the violins. Just gonna take our time. Just gonna take our time. No rush. We're, we're calm and relaxed. Now, in the live stream, I also had... Uh, I had my microphone plugged in. It was fun, man. You guys missed it. Okay, so we already know the combination to this door, and if you don't know it, I will show it to you. First, back right door, back left door, center right door, First left door, and then right here. First uh, right door. Man, I got that mixed up, but you probably saw it. Anyway. So now we want to go in here and find the key. The good old-fashioned key. Where's it at? You just got to walk around. It's, it's, it's spawned in random locations every time. Now we want to wait for this asshole to come in and leave. Give him enough time to vacate the premises. So let's wait. Oh, there he went. <laughs> let's watch him go back through. <laughs> okay, let's give him a second to leave this floor. Okay, he should be gone. Let's go out of the room. Listen for the hee-hees. He is indeed gone. Now that we have the golden key, we can get into the golden room in this first hallway. It's to the left. I'll show you. Keep going. You can also hide right there. If he decides to come up, turn on our flashlight. Golden door. Open. Want to look for the crowbar. It's randomly spawned in this room. Sometimes it's really hard to find. There it is. Okay. Got it? Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys a trick that saved my life on many occasions. 
it pretty much makes it easy, so to speak. The hardest part about this game was getting downstairs to this door and back up. Now, the game does glitch quite a bit, so the hardest part about the game is getting from the basement back up to a hiding spot. That's probably where I'll die. It might take me a couple tries. Okay, so from here, hold on, hold on. What we want to do, all right, is we want to come out and we want to jump a couple times. Get his attention. And as soon as he appears behind us, we want to turn on our flashlight and run. Or run and then turn on our flashlight. I didn't get his attention. There we go. Come on, bitch. Damn it, what the fuck? Let's run around. Okay, I'm a little shocked. I don't hear him. I've been sitting here for like a minute. This is weird. Let's keep jumping. He must have figured out my tactics. And he knows there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, I hear him. Here he comes. As soon as you see him over there, take off, run, and turn on your flashlight. Now we're in for a run for our life. It gives you enough time to run around here, make it to the hiding spot. Just like that. <laughs> Hello, sir. Eat my ass, boy. Get out of here. Okay, so, another one of those hard parts. For some odd reason, he tends to go up this little balcony and back down over and over and over. So you gotta be patient. Wait behind the base till he goes away completely. Okay, I think he's gone. Let's go ahead and use the crowbar, run back in the hiding spot. He's gonna come back over to this area. Probably open that door for us. Yep, always does. He's gonna go upstairs. And he's gonna disappear. And then what we wanna do is we wanna stay crouched. Go down these steps very, very quietly. Now I don't know if he can see you in the light, but what I do know is that if you're crouched, unless he accidentally runs across you, he's not gonna chase you. You still wanna wait for those violins to go away. Those little mini violins! Okay, let's go. Don't want to panic. That's when he gets you. Okay, he's really close. Now you do not want to run down here at all. Because the basement is filled with water. You want to stay crouched. Because even walking through this shit at this point, he'll hear you. But he won't willingly just come down here unless he hears something. Let's go ahead and get that green key and another crowbar. There's the green key right there. Now back in here you can stand up, but I, I normally don't. I always stay crouched just in case. There's the crowbar. There we go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the hardest part of the game right here is getting back upstairs because we can't juke him out. There's nowhere to draw him in in order to get him to go another direction. Force him into another direction, that is. So... You just want to remain calm. You're probably going to hear violins. But if you walk down these steps without crouching, he's going to hear you regardless. So once you get to the top of the steps, just listen for the violins. If you hear the violins, run. If not, stay cool. All right, we're good. We are good. Okay, now here's the hardest part, making it back upstairs. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around this living room, if possible. He seems to be focused on this area right here. And if I try to go up these steps, he's just going to catch me. Let's run. You can jump into the middle right here. You better plan your run to upstairs. Now he's focused on that side of the steps, okay? So, right now, we could take off running. But I don't want to do that. Okay, let's get over here. Oh, shit, that was close. Get under this table. Here he comes. Now all we have to do is make it up that flight of steps. Go to the left. Make it behind those boxes. Oh my god. Easier said than done. Okay, so I've got a plan. This is probably a bit easier. Straight up those uh, stairs is a plant base that we can hide behind. 
So if he gets far enough away, we can literally just run to it. Let's fucking just run. Bam. Made it. <laughs> so now we're much, much closer. We have a much better chance of bending this corner to the right. Getting caught on the steps is the worst fucking part. Let's go. Bam. We made it. <laughs> Basically, you want to run in spurts. Here he comes. You want to make sure those violins stop, and you want to run from point to point. Okay, so now it's time to make it into the dungeon, or whatever you want to call it. Let's turn on the flashlight so you guys can see. we got to get those boards off that door. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit e. Get those off. Take our time. Turn off the flashlight and hide. Wait for him to come and go. I don't know if he can hear that or not, but it's always just, you know, safe practice. You never want to trust old MJ. He'll sneak up behind you and poke you. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to crawl just like you did before. And you can always turn around and run for that box. Don't turn your flashlight on. Oh shit, here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes. Leave our flashlight off. Don't panic. We're going to stop walking. We're still crouched. Wait for the violins to go away. Hit our flashlight and keep walking. Now these steps are glitched. You want to walk down the center of them. You don't want to fuck around. Another crowbar. Keep walking down. Coming back up these steps is a bitch. I would almost have to say that this is probably the hardest part. Okay. Don't step on that bag. Open the door. Leave the door open. Keep walking down the steps. And once you get past that yellow line, you're free to walk. He now, note, he still can't come down here. If you make enough noise, he will chase you down here. The only place to hide is right there. Well, you might be able to hide over there, but right there. Okay, so we can walk now. Let's go through this fucking endless maze of shit till we get to the room, the, what is it called? The teleportation room where they spawned him in through a demonic black portal hole. All right, so here's the room. You want to look for the red key. That's the front door key. That's how we get out of here. This now, all we have to do is make it back upstairs and get behind those boxes, and we've pretty much beat the game. But, like I said, these steps are glitchy as fuck. So, you'll start stomping on them for no reason. You'll glitch, and it'll make a stomp noise. So, you got to follow a path. Especially when you go through the green door, you want to veer on the right of the door. You just want to take your time up those steps. Once you get to a point where you think you can run and make it, do it. I will demonstrate. Okay, here we are. We're ducking. Turn off his flashlight. We're going to stay ducked. If we hear violins, we just stop. Okay, so you want to veer on the right of the door. You just want to press up against that door. Look towards the door. You just want to glitch up him like that. Watch out for that bag. Stay in the middle of the steps. Stop. Wait for the violence to go away. Keep walking. Okay, so the the uh, main room is to our right, so you're going to hear violins quite a bit. This is where it glitches. Just want to walk straight up. Stop. Turn on your light. At this point, we could probably run. It's probably a good idea. Let's do it. There we go. We made it. <laughs> it's too late, Mikey. It's over. Okay. Now we got to do is make it over to the sofa where the clock is. And we do the same thing we did before. <laughs> so, whoa, yeah, you don't want to go that way. There's bags on the floor. So, we'll just take our time. No rush. We can even stand up. I'm running. I'm running. Okay, he's going to pop up right there. We're going to take off for downstairs. And we're going to jump on that middle table. Here we go. Just hope he don't catch us. 
comes. You made it. <laughs> Mikey! Where you at, boy? Oh! Hey, are you okay? Could you tell us? Okay, so before we jump out the red door, which is right there, I think Mikey needs to be serenaded with peace and love, okay? I don't think he remembers. Okay. <clears throat> what about sunrise? What about rain? What about all the things that you said we were to gain? Did you ever stop to notice all the blood we shed before? Did you ever stop to notice this crying earth, these weeping shows? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that's enough, okay? Mikey, it's been fun, but not really. You pretty much just want to run for the front door and that's it. See you later, Mikey! <laughs> Out of this Neverland shit! Open the gate! Part one completed. We did it! We escaped. Kind of. Now we're in the yard. And uh, apparently part two is going to be coming out, so guess what? We get to play that shit when it comes out. I don't look forward to it. But guys, thank you for tuning in. I know this was short, but <laughs> I had to do it, alright? On to another scary game. Don't forget to check out my Twitch every Friday and Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. Well, sometimes just Saturday. Whatever, all right? Check me out. Give me a follow. Whatever. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, finger me, subscribe, finger and flick my ding dong, ding dong so you'll be notified when I upload a video. video. Help me in the battle to stay full time, stay full -time. by becoming a member or a Patreon, Patreon and join the ever growing community that is the Mad Army. <laughs> If Mad you want to represent baby. the Mad Army, check merch. out the merch at acquire.com. Join the Discord. Discord. Follow me on Facebook, Facebook. Twitter, and Twitter. Instagram. Instagram. You want to talk some shit? Talk shit? Check me out on Twitch every Twitch. Friday and Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. EST. All the links are downstairs in the basement. basement. The same place you'll be if you want to talk some shit, boy. Mm. Hey, Normie, drop me a dope-ass beat. Welcome to Michael Jackson's Fun Fantasy Factory of Finger and Fuckers. Step right up and get your butthole finger by Michael Jackson himself. His fingers are more crooked than a broken broomstick. No amount of Vaseline is gonna keep you from getting Michael Jackson's fingernails drunk off in your asshole. Step right up, come on, come on. Pop a cork with Michael Jackson in his secret bedroom. Get fucking roofied until your eyes roll back inside your head. <laughs>